Has our government failed us? Why are many Americans so angry at Washington? Some of the questions we'll be asking our guests tonight. Joining us are Pat Boone, a Tea Party activist and, as you know, well-known entertainer, and Jamie Court, a consumer advocate who believes banks, oil companies, and other industries have too much influence in government. Thank you both for joining us. Let's start with you, Mr. Boone. What has made you so angry that you've decided to host an event for the Tea Party tomorrow? Well, I've studied uh, some history along the way, and uh, if I remember correctly, our founding fathers meant for us to have what they called a republic, and it was we the people who are supposed to be in charge, telling those we elect to represent us what we want, not them telling us what we're going to have, whether we like it or not. And so since government, this administration in particular, is not responsive at all, as has often been said, they seem to be hard of hearing. They, they read the polls, I guess. Well, Jamie, uh, let me just, I'm sorry for interrupting, but let me bring you in here, Jamie, because you might take issue with what's going on with the government as well, but you might not handle it in the same way as Mr. Boone. Tea Party, not for you? No, I mean, look, I, I wrote a book called the, the, Pro the Progressive's Guide to Raising Hell, all about how, how the, the objects, the subjects of the 2008 election, insurance rate hikes, Wall Street greed, uh, the military industrial complex, clearly these folks are still in charge, but the question is, progressives are mad as hell, conservatives are mad as hell. If we want to deal with the mandate from the 2008 election, to rein in insurance rate hikes, to rein in Wall Street greed, we don't do that by turning the reins of government over to the Tea Party, whose agenda is basically to get rid of the government. What is the agenda for the Tea Party, Pat? The agenda of the Tea Party is not to get rid of government, it's just to make government responsive to the will of the people citizens we the people uh, we're, it's not Republican our Tea Party tomorrow right in front of the Beverly Hills sign here in Beverly Hills on Santa Monica two to four is, uh, is simply a, a, a grassroots thing that sprung up citizens saying we want our representatives to hear us it's not Republican not Democrat it's just like the old-fashioned town square where on holidays and before elections citizens came together they had flags and they had speakers and they had patriotic songs and they they celebrated the fact that we are supposed to be calling the shots and not the government but, but, but look, look I've, I've held I've held uh, politicians accountable from both parties for two decades we've we've taken mandates at the ballot box to reform uh, insurance companies through Prop 103, health insurance companies. We stand on 60, 70 percent public opinion when we do this. The Tea Party stands on a very narrow minority of public opinion. So beyond the rallies, beyond the authentic anger, when they're mad about something, I get that. What is the plan? The plan, as far as I can see it, is to neuter the ability of Congress to rein in corporations, to rein in anybody because they're questioning whether executive agencies have the ability to spend money, whether Congress has the ability to pass laws. And behind the Tea Party are people like uh, the Koch brothers who are petroleum magnets who are funding Prop 23 to roll back uh, greenhouse gas emissions caps. The Tea Party wants to roll back greenhouse gas emission caps, but as I deal with in the book, the fact is, the public doesn't like oil companies. The public does want a greenhouse gas emission cap. So the question is, what do you do with that anger? And I believe it's authentic, but the people behind the Tea Party seem to be using it for one end only, which is to take away the power and regulatory authority of government. And what do you say to that, Mr. Boone? Are there you aware are... of the Koch brother no, money I have there, never the oil heard industry of them. money? I've never heard of them, and I guarantee 99%, if not 100%, of the Tea Party well, members know anything about it. what if that, what if that is the case? It's it. been documented that the Koch brothers have, they were the genesis for this movement. They had, I wrote in, in March 6th of 2009 in my World Net Daily column, we need a new Tea Party. I never heard from no Koch brothers. I, I, like all the citizens across the country, saying we simply want a government, Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever it is, who listens to us. We don't want debt. We don't want uh, either insurance companies or banks. We're very furious at the banks and the insurance companies, too. This new pledge for America, which the Republican Party has come up with, sounds pretty good compared to what the Democrats have been but, doing but, but for, all it is for about two really years. But all it's about is limiting the power of government. You know, yeah, that's I, I mean, what the I, founding I fathers about wanted. proven tactics that work, and the way to rein in corporations is to, is to create regulatory authority, to have citizens involved in the process, but not to simply say, uh, we're going to stop agencies from regulating. You know, I, I think that the real, the real power here for citizens is in tactics that have worked. And what I hear from the uh, Tea Party is the same old song. I hear going back to deregulation. Yeah. Take away regulation. Yeah. And I don't see how that's going to help America get out of the financial crisis or get what we voted for 
in very large majority in 2008. The answer is the free market. If you let citizens choose the companies they want to do business with, they will choose the best run companies, the lowest rates, and, and you let them compete. That's the way the free and, market works. And I saw works. how well that worked to get us the financial crisis we have. I mean, that's why I want progressives to get as angry and mad as hell and fight for what they believe in, because otherwise the Tea Party and, and some old songwriters and singers are going to have the floor about anger, and we're not going to get anywhere except go backwards to the time of Reagan. I mean, right. that's the kind of the point I make here. All right, Mr. Court, I think we're going to have to call that. Mr. Boone, thank you very much, both of you, for joining us. See you us. at the Tea Party tomorrow. <laughs> You'll hear from the people. Goes on. Thank you very much.